I'm Stavros. Good morning and welcome to Trugfest Scotland. <laughs> We've got an old earth there. So yeah, it's all going to kick off here today. Plenty of trucks to show you in this video. And it's held here at the Royal Highland Centre in Ingleston. So we're about 9 or 10 miles from Edinburgh in Scotland. But uh, yeah, <laughs> let me just swing around here and give you a look. Look, we have a Mercedes Actros there from Magon Brothers. And another truck pulling off here. But I just want to show you this. It's a Volvo F16 Globetrotter. So I'm not sure what year this is, but I did video one of these back in 1988 and I can't find the tape. <laughs> yeah, it was in Ireland. I videoed one of these in black with the proper Volvo livery. And yeah, one of my biggest regrets for having lost footage is of that truck back in 1988. But yeah, it's great to finally see one here in the flesh. It's been a long time. <laughs> so I'm going to start off today's video with this Volvo F16 Globetrotter. So yeah, back in 88 I was videoing one of these in Ireland. And uh, long before YouTube came down the line. <laughs> so uh, great to finally see one of these. So these trucks were the most powerful truck on the road. In Europe anyway, back in 1987 when they were released from Volvo. So 470 horsepower back in 1987 and the one I was videoing in Ireland was from 1988 and uh, yeah as I said all that footage cannot be found but uh, great to see it here today and of course the Volvo F10 and F12 came out in 1977 but then the F16 was the follow-up 10 years after that but yeah I uh, these trucks are quite collectible now the old F16s and he even has the old uh, F16 painted there on the back as well. So uh, I really like that truck now from Story International. Well done, guys. <laughs> the display of fire engines here is absolutely incredible. Check them all out there. We've got them all. Volvo, Dodge, Dennis, Scania. They're all lined up here. What a display here at Truckfest Scotland. And uh, now I just want to make my way all the way down there. I want to show you a Panther Rosenbauer. That's an airport fire engine. Let's check that out. So this is a big one, the Rosenbauer Panther, built in Austria. So this particular example has 950 Newton meters of torque and can go from zero to 50 miles per hour in 23 seconds, fully laden at 32 ton. So yeah, Edinburgh Airport are expecting delivery of two more fire engines next year and another brand new one in 2020. But pretty cool to see that today. The Panther, built by Rosenbauer. Are you telling me that the firemen of today have it easy? Well, they certainly have it a lot easier than the men going back to the 1960s. 70s. Look at this. This fond piece of equipment was known as a ripper. Right. You turned up at a road accident, in rural locations especially, this was what you had. You had to use that like a can opener, accompanied by the odd hammer and hacksaw. Right. So today they have moved forward oh, tremendously. Yeah. But this was the way it was. So I'm just about to Back go in show the day. some young firemen, <laughs> yeah. because they don't really believe me about this, but this is the way it was. You worked hard back then. Oh, they, they were the real days. The, 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 dare I say the real firefighters there? I'm going to I better not, because I could create a war. Right. Okay. okay. Thanks. Thanks very much. Here Cheers. We have a nice display here from XS Transport three DAF XF Superspace cabs and you'll see there we have the newly revised XF which is distinguishable from the grille. You'll see the T-shape opposite the DAF logo and if you look at here the previous version is just straight above the DAF logo. So that's how you're able to tell the new ones from the old ones. But uh, if I move down there they have a DAF CF rigid. But that is a nice display of XF DAFs from XS Transport. Welcome to the Truckfest in Scotland. <laughs> well done. 
<laughs> nice kilt. <laughs> yes, kilt sporring. Yes. Lion as well. well Scottish. Enjoy <laughs> the show. <laughs> Cheers. Right on. <laughs> just seen Malcolm there doing a parade in around the arena there but check out the Renault T high tractor unit here from BD Brothers now you'll remember I shot a video on this last weekend be sure and check it out if you haven't seen it pretty good truck the T high from Renault coming into the arena and another brand new T high behind it Stuart Nickel transport <laughs> Go on. Go on. the big monster truck over there doing a big jump uh, a bit of action there in the arena going on but look at this we have some heavy haulage here now in the Mercedes-Benz Arox so this is your 180 ton Arox absolutely incredibly laid out here just look at it this is an 8x4 so it's on springs on the two back axles then the middle axle is on air ride suspension so what happens is if any of these two axles have any slippage extra pressure will be put on the middle axle to um, counteract the slippage on these two axles a bit of clever technology going on there and the front suspension is on springs as well but um, it has a flat floor on the interior as well in this Arox and if I move around to the front I'll show you the the um, air outlets there you see look one at either side and they are for connecting another truck to the SLT Arox to pull even heavier loads. So you can get these trucks up to 250 ton. But um, this one here is um, 180 ton. But uh, it's just incredible. Just have a look at the back there. Now this venting system is for your 250 ton Arox. And there would normally be a radiator at the back. But this whole setup is built in Mulsheim in France. Um, when it leaves the Mercedes-Benz factory in Germany and uh, look at all the lockers and all the air tanks up on the top and down there you have a 590 litre fuel tank your diesel tank but uh, that is a great layout there for Mercedes and it also has a Voith turbo clutch retarder in this and apparently it's the only truck on the road at the moment that has that Voith turbo clutch retarder for uh, extra stopping power. Okay guys, you wanna see a flat floor? This is a very high up flat floor. Look how high up it is to my eye line here and I'm six foot two. But this is uh, quite high up here on the Arox SLT. Let's climb up and have a look. Okay, let's hop up here onto the Arox and there you can see the flat floor. So you don't normally get these on the Arox because the Arox would be um, on the normal low cab, but here, on this particular heavy haulage tractor unit you can get your flat floor in the Arox so uh, yeah pretty much very like the uh, Actros with the Mercedes Benz but that's what it's like inside in the cab and down on the dashboard here we have the gauges for the Voith turbo clutch retarder there's your extra gauges but uh, yeah pretty cool to see this today and uh, heavy haulage 
at its finest. <laughs> Great. So up on the back of the Mercedes-Benz Actros flatbed truck, we have a Mitsubishi Fuso, the Cantor. Now something I only really found out today is that they are built under the Mercedes-Benz truck division, your Mitsubishi Cantor. And there are big plans for this little truck. Um, they are trialing at the moment fully electric Cantors in London. And you can also get a hybrid version as well, uh, a diesel hybrid Cantor. So yeah, quite unusual. And that one there, as you see it, is for sale for 16,400 with the Mitsubishi Fuso Cantor. So yeah, good to uh, get a bit of information on that truck. And over here we have a Mercedes-Benz Iconic. This is a bin truck and it's for sale from Western Commercial there for £120,000 plus VAT. And then I move over to the Atego. This has 160 horsepower and 49,600. And a few more uh, trucks there for sale in the background. But yeah, nice to get some information on the Mitsubishi Cantor Fuso. Check out the old DAF 3300, the space cab. So this would have been a big truck in its day. Oh, great to see that today. And then we have the brand new XF here. A world apart from the 3300. Oh, this is great to see them all moving in convoy here. And we have tenant transport behind with another new XF. Okay, we've got two old trucks for you now. So on the left we have the Volvo, the F88 from 1976. But uh, let's just have a quick look at the back here because this guy, <laughs> he brought his house with him to Truckfest. Look at the couch. And in there he has a kitchen <laughs> on the back of the F88. But uh, yeah, pretty cool to see that truck there. And I'll just show you the front, bit of an unusual feature here. This is for the heater, a little vent door there, look. And over here, there would be a second one on some of the models as well. But uh, yeah, that is how it looks on the F88. Uh, I do like that now. Very nicely restored there by David Beat. And over here we have a 1984 Leyland road train. So you're 1725 from DC McWalter. Great condition, very well done. How the trucks have evolved over the years. DAF, Scania, Volvo, and the FH there looking quite well in the blue and white. <laughs> but look at this, we have a Volvo F7. Yeah, 35 years old. And uh, it's belonged to Maxwell, <laughs> your father's truck. Yeah, so this is in fantastic condition. I really like this now. Uh, let's just have a look at the chassis area there. And then we'll have a quick look inside. Yeah, back in the olden days, how it used to be, boys. In the old Volvo F7, huh? But great to see them being uh, looked after and uh, we'll just have a quick look inside. Just look at the condition of this. <laughs> huh? And he has his Bosa certificate there as well on the door. But yeah, you can see the gear stick there. These were a four over four split. Your range changer there, you see the red switch on the gear stick for your four over four gearbox. Yeah, it's only when you hop into these old trucks how you realize the uh, how times have moved on. <laughs> but that's how they used to be in the old Volvo F7. Great to see it here today at uh, Truckfest Scotland. So Maxwell, thank you very much for that. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> You'll remember the video I shot of the Scania XT, the G450. This is a lot older, this old T1 
tipper truck here belonged to Gavin Bell so fair play to him he has done fantastic work on the Albion yeah Clydesdale you see the badge there on the front yeah so well done to him this is looking incredible I don't know what year it is I can't seem to find that out but if any of you know what year it is you can comment below on the old Albion check out this <laughs> the FH16 this is looking pretty well look at the Iron Man and we have ACDC so they done the soundtrack for the Iron Man movie that's why they are painted on the back of that tractor unit but that is looking quite well today from Stark Industries and we have J&G Mac Williams there with a very nice looking S500 Scania they have the straight six cylinder diesel engine of course and then we move over to the older 143M the V8 450 looking quite well parked up there the two of them <laughs> and then we move over to this orange tipper truck belonged to Peter McAtee so this particular truck is for sale the P410 so if you're interested in buying that contact Peter McAtee oh we've got a great display of trucks here from Pollock Scott Trans you see that trailer there hooked up to the DAF XF super space cab and if I zoom out we have the T cab Scania there on the right and then on the left we have the FH16 Volvo but uh, yeah great display from Pollock this year and of course founded by William Pollock back in 1935 so 83 years in business Pollock Scott Trans and very nice Mercedes 1834 over there and another display of Scania's over there so a great display there from Pollock uh, he could win best fleet display at truck fest who knows and another FH Volvo heading off but yeah great display of trucks really great work by all the boys here and William Walk there at least I hope that's how you pronounce it heading off in his FH 500 so I found out what year the Albion is it's 1969 so uh, he's going there for a bit of a parade lap around the arena but uh, that does look pretty cool and we have the Volvo the FMX your tipper truck there 410 horsepower by Bayard services nice one from them look at this we've got the old Scania the 110 Super the day cab tractor unit from 1975 with the Glenfiddich livery that looks fantastic <laughs> oh man great condition and then look behind we have this old Renault Savium from 1972 so quite unusual to see that truck now you would look at it and think that's an MAN cab but there was a connection between Renault and MAN back in the 70s but uh, that is in great condition by uh, I Craig there check out the old F12 <laughs> the Globetrotter there from EM Rogers uh, nice number plate there to go with it I really like that it's from 1991 and look what he has on the back this old Albion truck from 1936 <laughs> one of the oldest trucks here it has to be and then he has the old Volvo F88 behind it from 1977 and if I swing over here we have another Volvo F88 but uh, yeah EM Rogers great display from him I really like that and we have the R420 tipper there the Scania and the Mercedes Actros there behind <laughs> <laughs> Plenty of hards going off there with the R730. Nice one. <laughs> yeah, they're all <laughs> another R730. Yeah, we have this old Kenworth from 1996. Nice S Series Scania. <laughs> Cheers, guys. S730 there. But uh, yeah, nice one there from Yule and Dodds. I think I'm pronouncing it correctly. But uh, yeah, this Kenworth is nice. From 1996, the old American truck. <laughs> nice. I like the colors on that. And the FH Volvo. But yeah, Truckfest Scotland. 
here in Ingleston is the second biggest truck show in the whole of the UK. So I was speaking to one of the organizers today and they have almost 1,100 trucks on display here today. And that's not including all the truck manufacturers like Mercedes, DAF, Scania. I mean, it's, it's just massive. Now it is the second biggest event, uh, the truck event in the UK with Peterborough being the biggest because Peterborough this year had 2,600 trucks on display. But uh, yeah, I still love <laughs> the Scotland Truck Fest here. I really do like this event. Brilliant. <laughs> and check this out. We have an old Albion there from 1952. And he's got an old Reliant Robin on the back. Ah, oh, fair play. Have a look what he has on the back here, look. It's a baby built. And this thing is drivable. But uh, that is one of the weirdest things I've seen in a long time. And then we have this Volvo F10, the Globetrotter, from 1992. Of course, the FH came out in 93. And this is how far they've come, Volvo, <laughs> with this Ailsa edition. The FH16, 750 horsepower. Oh, we've got some heavy haulage here in the R730 Scania. <laughs> Oh yeah, what's he got on the back? Streamline Scania, two of them. 143M450. And another one there at the back. Nice display there. And we even have a Land Rover Defender. <laughs> and look, Sterling here. Ian Murray, huh? Nice S Series Scania. And an R580 there from Murray also. Yeah, it's all uh, looking quite well here <laughs> in Truckface Scotland and an S580 and an R620 Scania and we have Peter McAtee here with his tipper truck today from Truckfest Scotland. What a fantastic day I've had. Guys, there's just hundreds and hundreds of trucks here and the work that these drivers put into looking after these trucks, it's just incredible. I'm here at Stalkers Transport here and this is where I end today's video. I've really enjoyed it. I do hope you've enjoyed the video. And <laughs> I, I, I laugh, I talk to you. <laughs> okay, I'll chat to you all again next weekend for another video. So until then, take care and thanks for watching! Cheers! <laughs> He's sticking on what's happening on the back of the XF. <laughs> okay, I'll let you away with that. <laughs>